As the Savior taught the prophet, all of our experiences and our learning can be consecrated to helping us become more like the Savior. His words can enlighten us and can bring all things together for our good. For many important things that we will do in this life, we must persist in order to get through the steep part of our learning curve. So whether you're working at learning a new concept in a required class, focused on developing a Christ-like attribute, or have just begun making covenants with the Lord, I hope you will persist, keep trying, keep striving. There is hope. Whatever you do, don't give up on things that are really good and really important for your eternal progress. You are not alone in your learning. If you are developing meekness, you will be more teachable and open to inspired influences and promptings from the Holy Ghost to change, even to repent. As we act on those promptings, the Lord can transform us in wonderful ways. Whether you feel like your life is sinking or as though you are underwater, I bear witness that as you call unto him in prayer, the Savior can lift you up through your challenges. He loves you. He desires you to learn, even to know how he can strengthen you. The Savior's mission on earth was to serve Heavenly Father's children through his great atoning sacrifice and his compassionate ministering to all he encountered. If we are to learn of him, we also need to learn to serve. The invitations we receive to serve and minister in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints can teach us about the Savior and the strength that he provides us to face life's challenges. There are people all around you who are in need of a little kindness, a little encouragement, friendship, and support. I invite you to renew your efforts to look outside yourself and find someone for whom you can make a difference. I hope you see the blessings of the many opportunities to serve in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and how they help us learn of him. If we are serious about learning of Christ and accessing his strength, we must make time for the Lord. Spending time with him daily is imperative in order to draw closer to him. The temple is a house of learning. It is a place that is holy. The time you spend in the temple provides a time and a place for the Lord to speak to you and teach you. One of those powerful places is, is in the temple. We see the joy of our Heavenly Father's plan and the central role of the Savior's atonement. We learn about our relationship to God the Father and His Son. Time in the temple is one of the best antidotes for avoiding unproductive distractions and finding answers to our problems.